Hello, hi everyone. Welcome to Side Roses. In today's video, we're going to discuss about the payroll calculation based on attendance. So let's dive into the employee module and I would like to consider the employee as a bail person. So once you select like the employee here, we have to just set certain details such as the contract. So here you can see that currently this contract is active. And if you want to just ensure that a contract is active, you can just move on to the smart tab of contract and make sure that the contract is in training state. So if a contract is in training state, it will be indicated with green color. And under the work entry source, we also just need to set uh, the work entry source as attendance because we are just making a calculation based on attendance, right? That is a payroll calculation based on attendance. So we have to set the work entry source as attendance. Afterwards, what we have to do is we just need to move on to the salary information and we just need to ensure the wage type is set over here as well as the schedule pay. So I would like to make a payment that is the uh, payment scheduling will be monthly and the wage is $6,000 for $100 per month. So once everything is set over here, uh, we can just move on to the employee module. Okay, so here you can see that the contract starts from 8 1 2025 and that will be ending in 11 9 2025 if you want to change the contract you can also change the contract from here and let me set the uh ending date as 31st of december and if you don't want to end the contract you can just remove the date from the contract end date field okay so once everything is set what we have to do is we can save the changes that we have made and uh, um yeah let's move on uh, to the attendance module uh, to set the attendance of the employee so currently you can find the attendance of the employee in the month september so i would like to consider the uh yeah period from uh, previous month so let's say it's from 1st of august to um 31st of august okay and let me apply it and here you can see that uh, the attendance has been calculated over here. So altogether, the employee has to just work for 168 hour. And among that, the employee has worked for 147 hour over here. So you can find the attendance of the employee. Uh, if the attendance is not given over there, you can uh, set the attendance. What you have to do is simply click on this cell. Okay. So as you just click on this cell, you'll be getting a wizard over here. And you just need to set the check-in time as well as the checkout time, the work time and everything can be set over here. Okay. So what, uh, I mean, afterwards you can save, uh, I mean, save and close the wizard. And now we just need to move into the payroll module to make the um, payroll calculation based on attendance. So here you can find a menu called payslip, right? So here I'll be choosing the sub menu to pay. And afterwards click on new button and here we can choose the employee so upon choosing the employee you can see that the image field the contract field the worker structure i mean uh, the salary structure as well as the period will be automatically calculated over here so here you can find the period so if you want to set the period of previous month you can also set that so i would like to set uh, the previous uh, month so here you can see as i just change the date over here you can see the attendance has changed over here also okay now let me change it as 31st okay yeah here you can find uh, the attendance and um, here you can see that the employee has just worked for 147 hours and uh, when it's uh, when we just consider the days uh, the employee has worked you can see that it's one i mean 18 uh, point um, 38 okay for all those days the employee has worked and the amount is just 6500 and afterwards we can save this so when you just create a payslip simply that payslip will be in draft state now if you want to just calculate uh, the sheet you can just click on compute sheet and this will be moving to the waiting state so when a payslip was moved to the waiting state you can ensure that the way a payslip is under verification so when the verification is done we can just click on confirm so after confirming you can see that it will be moving to the den state which means that the verification has done now we just need to make the 
payment to the employee that is a sale salary payment to the employee so we can just click on mark as paid and this will be moving to the paid state so here you can see all the details will be calculated over here and you can also find that the payslip will be generated so here you can see that uh, please find the pdf in your portal so if the employee want to view uh, the uh, credit of the salary uh, they can view it from the employee portal so this is how we just manage with the payroll calculation based on attendance and if you find this video informative please do like share and subscribe our channel if you want odoo customization odoo implementation and odoo tutorial videos feel free to contact side process and that's all for today thank you for watching the video